So currently, um, working on the E90 again. Um, I did something stupid. I pulled the handbrake up at like, I don't know, like 50, 60 miles an hour. The handbrake didn't work previously, so I was just messing about to see if I can actually get it to work. Um, that completely broke it. Now I've got like a handbrake light on the dash and the car like on the ramp and stuff. So what I'm doing now is um, adjusting the handbrake. I think that should fix it. I've just tried doing it already and it does lock up. Um, turning the, the little star wheel so I'll show you how it's done. The first thing you're going to have to do is obviously take your wheel off. Um, make sure that the handbrake is all the way down. Uh, there's a little service lock thing here with the yellow spring. I'm not too sure if you can see that down there next to the behind the yellow cable. Um, you have to engage that even though I didn't. Um, I think it still works. Um, and then obviously because I've got spaces normally you're meant to take one lug out. You don't even have to take your wheel off. But I've got spaces so I have to take one lug nut out. And basically you have to rotate the wheel and there's a little star very hard to see on camera a little star in there that you have to adjust up or down um, I believe on the driver's side well in a right hand drive car you um, actually bring the star wheel down to tighten it let me just double check e yes it's actually down on the um, on the driver side a right hand drive car and on the passenger side you actually bring it up so it's it's it's, it's a different way around but what you do is you adjust it until as you can see I can move the rotor now oh car just made a beep um as you can see I can move the rotor I'm just trying to find the star again there it is. Um, you can move the rotor, and what you do is you adjust it by moving that little star with a flat head, just like that. Just moving it down. It gets hard after a while until you can't move the rotor. So it's solid now. And once it's, once it's solid, you're meant to back off by, I believe, three rotations. So we go back up the star by three. One. Two and three, and it should move. Yeah, might go down a little bit more because there's quite a bit of a rub. So say four, four or five. That's four, and that's five. And that's better. It's like previous when the handbrake didn't work. So now I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. So I'm back. I've adjusted this one. It can't move now. So what I'm going to do is adjust it back by say five I don't know if I over tightened it previously that's three nope a bit more there we go so um, redid it by five So I'm back, there's the handbrake now, and now when I try to pull it up, it's really really difficult to pull up, so that's what I'm thinking what we have to do. Um, I'm going to check if it's now locked up the wheels, if I can turn them. So far so good, so apparently I can't turn them yet, what I'm going to do is put the wheels back. Okay guys, so I'm back, uh, finished off everything. Uh, the car's in neutral, the handbrake's up, I'm currently got my foot on the brake but taking the foot off the brake, I'm on a hill, well our driveway is anyway and I'm rolling now, 
pulling the handbrake and it stops the car so I would say that's a successful successful handbrake refurbish slash repair slash whatever yep so yeah let's do some skids <laughs>